protect residents from national government failures by getting the basics right, delivering better services and having zero tolerance for corruption. This is the DA difference. The next broadcast will start shortly. Follow us on social media for the latest in news and politics in South Africa. Like and follow our page on Facebook. Follow us on TikTok, Instagram and Twitter. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on anything. Be part of the conversation. Tell us what you think in the comment section. And please, like and share our videos with your friends and family. The next broadcast will start shortly. If you care about South Africa and want to make a positive difference, then join the DA. Visit our website at da.org.za for more information. Find out who represents you in your ward and district and who are the DA mayors working for you in your town or city and which MPs represent you and your causes in Parliament. On our website, you can learn more about our latest campaigns and how you can get involved. Join the Democratic Alliance to rescue South Africa. Become an activist, become a councillor, become a member of Parliament if you care about South Africa. Please visit donate.da.org.za. Donate to a cause you believe in. Donate to make a difference. Did you know the DA is the second biggest party in South Africa, making the DA the official opposition in Parliament? The DA is the only opposition party to govern a province. The award-winning, best-run Western Cape. The best-run municipalities in South Africa are all governed by the DA. DA mayors are working hard to protect residents from national government failures by getting the basics right, delivering better services and having zero tolerance for corruption. This is the DA difference. The next broadcast will start shortly. Follow us on social media for the latest in news and politics in South Africa. Like and follow our page on Facebook. Follow us on TikTok, Instagram and Twitter. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on anything. Be part of the conversation. Tell us what you think in the comment section. And please, like and share our videos with your friends and family. The next broadcast will start shortly. If you care about South Africa and want to make a positive difference, then join the DA. Visit our website at da.org.za for more information. Find out who represents you in your ward and district and who are the DA mayors working for you in your town or city and which MPs represent you and your causes in Parliament. On our website, you can learn more about our latest campaigns and how you can get involved. Join the Democratic Alliance to rescue South Africa. Become an activist, become a councillor, become a member of Parliament if you care about South Africa. Please visit donate.da.org.za. Donate to a cause you believe in. Donate to make a difference. Let's rescue South Africa. Join the DA because the DA gets things done. that you go out there and register to vote. This is your last chance to make a difference. Please remember the new law states that you can only vote where you are registered. So please make sure that you are correctly registered. Voting stations are open until 5 o'clock this afternoon and again tomorrow from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Or you can skip the queues and get help registering online at check.da.org.za or simply dial star 134 star 2000 for hash. 
please remember this is your last opportunity and your vote has never counted more yes. please like and share this broadcast with all your friends and your family and use the hashtag rescue sa and hashtag register to vote da we are now joined by da leader john stenhazer john you've spent most of the day visiting many places in gauteng what is the feeling like on the ground it's been really great to see the, the activism and enthusiasm on the ground i've been in eldos i'm here now in elberton i've been in soweto uh, the elberton yes. people are great look at them they're great um, and it's been really great to see the enthusiasm out there. And I think many, many people are ready for change. They can feel changes in the air. Yeah. And they want to be part of the change. Yeah. John, is it realistic to think that the DA can take over Gauteng yeah. and take over in South Africa? What are your thoughts? Absolutely. This, without a doubt, we can add Soliem Zamanga as the premier of the yeah. Gauteng yeah. province yeah. of this we are so close. The ANC has never been weaker. They are being eaten away by breakaway parties and people are leaving them in droves as they're tired of 30 years of broken promises, broken undertakings, corruption, maladministration. They're ready for a new government here in Gauteng. And I can tell you right now that we are within, within striking distance now of being able to get over the majority and we can inaugurate Soliem Zamanga as the Premier here. We can kick Panyaz and Asufi out and we can bring Soliem Zamanga and the DA in here. Absolutely, John. I couldn't agree with you more. As a resident of Gauteng, as somebody who grew up in Johannesburg, Gauteng desperately needs change. John, you, you spoke about the DA needing to be an anchor tenant in the multi-party charter. What does this mean? And can you tell us more about it? Well, I think that if you look at some of the coalitions that don't work around the, around the country, places like Johannesburg, where it's just chaos all the time, it's because the vote is so fragmented that it's impossible to form a stable coalition. The DA is the second largest party in the country. We hope to be the biggest party in the country after the election. And therefore, we think that you need a coalition to work just like a shopping centre needs a strong anchor tenant to bring in other shops, but also to bring in customers. So too does a coalition need a strong anchor tenant that's able to ground the coalition, that's able to ensure the stability and ensure that there can be delivery over the long term. That's how we see our role as being a strong anchor tenant in a new majority that's going to bring good ideas from across the political spectrum and put them to work for the people of South Africa so we can get our economy working and we can get people are looking for work back into jobs, our factories open again, our lights and electricity back on, water back in our taps and we can have all of that and so much more with a DA-led government. I couldn't agree more. John, Gauteng used to be Africa's economic hub but we now see things falling apart. What lessons can we learn from the DA-run Western Cape that we can implement here in Gauteng? Well, what you can learn is that good, clean, accountable government yes. delivers for all South Africans. And the biggest beneficiaries of good, clean, accountable government are poor South Africans because they can't privatize their security. They can't put solar panels on their roof. They can't send their children to a private school when our schooling system fails. So the biggest beneficiaries of government that works for the people, that spends every cent of public money on fixing schools, hiring teachers, ensuring we've got proper police personnel, ensuring that our water infrastructure is well looked after, ensuring that we roll out a stable electricity to all our communities are poorer South Africans. Just like the Western Cape as well, good, clean, accountable government delivered 300,000 new jobs in last year alone. We want to be able to bring that same energy and excitement and vigor to Gauteng. And we can do it, but we can only do it if every opposition voter comes out to register and comes out to vote. There's too much at stake in this election for people to stay at home. Yeah, I absolutely agree. John, what can everybody at home do to be part of the DA's mission to rescue South Africa? And what are your final words to everybody at home? What you can do is become a hero in the rescue mission to save our country. Yes. That hero status is yours if you register by going today to your nearest voting station. You can come down here to, if you live in the Elberton area, to this wonderful VD and look at these wonderful people behind me. They're waiting here to welcome you, to help you get registered. But if you don't want to leave your home, you can do it online. Check 
checkda.org.za. That's check .da.org.za. It'll take you five minutes to be able to register to vote or check your registration status. My final message to every South African at home is that we can't carry on like this for a moment longer. Yes. We can't afford to have 42% of our people not working. Yes. We can't have our young graduates standing at traffic lights unable to find work. Yes. We can't have our women and our children and our mothers and our grandmothers fearful of their safety when they even walk to a bus stop or go to a local yes. shop. We cannot have a government that continues to steal people's money and to enrich their friends and family. We need government that's on the side of the people. And my message to you is that if you want to see change, if you're as passionate about this beautiful country as all of we are in the DA, if you fundamentally believe that life can get better, well, we're your team, the blue team. And we stand ready to work with every single one of you, shoulder to shoulder, to rescue South Africa at the election. But we need to make sure that we registered and we need to make sure that we vote for the change that we want to see. There you have it, South Africa. The message from DA leader John Steenhazen. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. This year, 2024, history is calling on you to play your part in rescuing South Africa. It's time to stop the decay and choose a better future for our children and grandchildren. Let's choose a growing economy for jobs and safer communities for all. For the first time ever, the ANC is likely to lose the upcoming national and provincial elections. And for the first time ever, a DA-led national government is within reach. The IEC's final voter registration weekend will be on the 3rd and 4th of February. It is important to remember that a new law states that you may only vote at your correct voting station. So if you want to skip the queues on registration weekend, you can register to vote or check your registration status online right now. And you can do this by visiting check.da.org.za where we will take you through the process. So do your bit. United, we can rescue South Africa. Get help registering to vote at check.da.org.za. Register to rescue South Africa. Well, welcome back. I am now joined by DA Premier. Well, scrap that. Incoming DA Premier. to be on the ground in Gauteng. Yeah. Please tell us what is it like, the vibe on the ground, and why are we here today? Ness, thank you very much. We have been moving crisscross in this whole province, and I'm glad that today I've got uh, an opportunity to spend the day with the leader and our beautiful activists across the whole province. Yeah. What we are seeing is people who are saying they are tired of corruption. They are tired of nepotism. They are tired of now being told that jobs are only going to go to military veterans who in my age are very old. So how are you going to get, you know, old people to go and fight corruption? Because they know that their time is up. The ANC's time is up. And we need to make sure that people come out and register and come out and vote and bring in a new government that will be able to do things for them and make sure that the dream of 1994 is finally realized and not a nightmare that the people have come to live. Absolutely. Solly, as the DA Premier candidate, why is it so critical that we win Gauteng? It is critical for us to win Gauteng. As I've said, we are tired of people going hungry. We are tired of people sitting without electricity. We are tired of people being told that they the 350 is going to be taken away. Hey, I didn't agree 350. We don't want the 350. We want jobs. We want real jobs. We want a dignity of life. We want to make sure that service delivery is delivered to the people, not just a pipe dream. We are now being told of uh, trains that will be moving, fast trains that will be moving from Limpopo to Gauteng, yet we cannot even fix our infrastructure. Yet police stations are falling apart. Yet clinics and hospitals are falling apart. What we want is basics to be gotten right, infrastructure to work, and therefore, once you have infrastructure working as it's supposed to work, you will then get investors coming in. Investors come in, they're able to employ more people. The more people are able to be employed, the more taxes we're able to collect. The more taxes we're able to collect, the more we can assist those that are more vulnerable. That's why we are here, and that's what we're doing what we're doing. 
Yeah. Yes. Sholly, we spoke earlier about the DA's vision for Gauteng. Can you tell us in a quick three-minute elevator pitch what is the plan for Gauteng? Well, the plan for Gauteng is very, very simple. Let's start fixing the infrastructure. You fix the infrastructure, okay. you start looking and fixing um, the South African police service at a provincial level. You start ensuring that you reinstate and reinstall the confidence in the investors and potential investors. You're able to do those things. You will see that not only do we give people better quality health care, better education, better infrastructure that is ensuring that there's better um, supply of electricity, there's water, there's road infrastructure that gets to be fixed. But the police are going to then ensure that they protect the people on the ground and not take care of Bupol Machatile, Bupanyaza Lesufi and all those that are now getting bodyguards. Yet the people here will call for police and we will be told that there's, uh, you know, the, the police vans are not there or there's no, they don't have enough vehicles. Yet at the same time, when the police in certain areas, when they want to get involved in criminal activities or they go and collect the churches there, the vans are there to then go collect churches. We want to make sure that that gets to be brought to an end. But here's another thing. We are not going to come here and celebrate that the people are now being made to be too dependent on government. These issues of 350 must come to an end so that we are able to then give people jobs. I'm saying celebrate giving people jobs. Don't celebrate that you're giving people 350. What do you do with 350? It doesn't even buy you much. You buy a bag of milli mill, you buy maybe a two liter um, you know, oil and that's it. That's, that's all that you get. But we want people to get a dignified life. A dignified life means that you're able to then exercise your choice. When you're able to get a job where you can work, take your kid to a school that you want, take your kid to a doctor that you want, yes. you don't have to be told by government and uncaring government, this is where you need to go um, to a clinic at 4 o'clock and only to be told at 3 o'clock in the afternoon that, uh, you know, you don't have medication. You come up on the other day. That's not what we want. Or when you want to take your child to a school and you are told, no, in the vicinity there's no classrooms, therefore you have to take your child across town and have to then pay, you know, for, for your child uh, transport to even be, uh, to get there. That's not what we want. So a uh, how thing that works is a government that is able to provide job opportunities, that is able to then ensure that the safety and security for people, that is able to ensure that infrastructure is fixed. That is the how thing that works. But more importantly, a how thing that works is a how thing that is not going to be really, um, you know, coying to the political uh, po uh, political mastermind at a national level. That even when they are wrong here at the provincial level, we're not going to be putting up our hand and say you are wrong. Here we will tell you, when you are wrong, you are wrong. Because we want a government at a provincial level that will work with the government at a local level to be able to provide services to the people. A coordinated government that is accountable to the people, that is able to then communicate very, very clearly what the plans are. Make sure that we eradicate corruption. Make sure that we're able to put plans in place to deliver a better life. Indeed, we need to make sure that 2024 becomes our 1994. That the nightmare that the people have come to leave comes to an end when we give people a better future. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Sally, as we kick off registration weekend, what is your message for everybody at home watching this broadcast? My message is very, very simple. If you are going to travel anywhere, you buy a ticket. You want to go into a plane to Cape Town or to wherever you want to go or into a train, you buy a ticket. And therefore, you cannot go to your, your, your destination if you're not going to buy a ticket. And you buying a ticket, you registering, so that you're able to then say, I've bought a ticket to get to my next um, destination. The destination that we want is a better housing that works. The destination that we want is a better South Africa that works. That we have seen how in the last um, 25 years to 30 years, how things have turned for the West. And we need to make sure that we get it better. So therefore, if you want to then say, do I play a role? And I will say, yes, you play a role. And your role begins with you taking your ID and coming to register. Register so that you can vote for your future. You can vote for your dreams and your aspirations and not your fear. Your fear should be put aside because if you're not going to change things around, I promise you the next five years and the next 10 years are going to be worse. We're going to see more unemployment. We're going to be seeing more um, crime rate escalating. We're going to be seeing more infrastructure decay. We are going to see a government that really continues without care but yet we can put a stop to it and it's up to you the future is indeed in your hands Solly, i just got 
word that the AFC is polling below 40% in Gauteng. Well, they are polling below 40%. And this is why Panyaza Lisufi is now going around and promising the MK veterans because they are leaving in droves. This is why they're promising them 3,000 jobs here. They're promising... It's like he's now behaving like Oprah. You get a job, you get a job. All of you get a job. But the reality is that these are jobs that should have been given five years ago. Not when we are on the eve of elections and then all of a sudden these jobs now, all of a sudden, you know, begin to then emerge. All these projects, now they're busy fixing... Um, um, Sub, uh, substations here, then everywhere. The question is, why didn't you fix those substations two years ago, three years ago? Why are you fixing them now? And also, who is paying for the electricity once the electricity be then begins to then flow? So let's stop being popular. Let's stop being populist, but let's start going back to addressing the basics and ensure that ultimately, at the end of the day, we we give people quality life consistently not just before the elections and this is why they're losing the support people are saying here and no more and we are going to then encourage the people of Houghton, the people of south africa to say don't be fooled mm. they come to you and tell you that your pension will go they come and tell you that nesfa's yeah. funding will go they come and tell you that they will take away your rdp house yeah. they come and tell you that you must come and take a t-shirt yeah. hey get that t-shirt get that grocery but remember you have been struggling for so long yeah. and enough should be enough yeah. take those yeah. food it's your tax money yeah. take that t-shirt go and make a duster with it but come and vote for the deer. Oh, yes. There you heard it. South Africa, don't let this moment pass you by. Make sure that you are correctly registered to vote. This weekend is your last opportunity to register to vote. Voting stations are open until 5 p.m. today and again tomorrow from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. or skip the queues and you can register online at check.da.org.za or some Dial star 134 star to triple zero four hash. I cannot stress this enough. You, the new law states that you can only vote where you are registered. So please make sure that you are correctly registered to vote. Tune in tomorrow. We will be live from the beautiful province of KZN. Tune in for all the breaking news and the latest updates. From me, Nazli Sharif, make sure you go out and register. Signing out, shop, and away. South Africa, our country is at a crossroads, and you have the power to help rescue it. We are at a critical point in history, and now, more than ever, we have the final chance to break free from a national government led by crooks and elect a new, caring government. We can end load shedding, we can reduce crime, and we can beat poverty. The key to rescuing our country is to ensure that you're correctly registered to vote in this year's election. The 3rd and 4th of February is the IEC's final voter registration weekend and your last chance to register correctly. So visit check.da.org.za to check your registration status or to get help registering online now. It's in your hands to vote out corruption and usher in a new era for our beautiful nation. The DA is the only party with a proven track record of delivery. Where we govern, unemployment is the lowest and we do not tolerate corruption. Together, we can all shape a better future. So register to vote and let's rescue South Africa. Power to the register. Get help registering to vote at check.da.org.za. Register to rescue South Africa. Thanks for watching. All across our beautiful country, people are joining forces to elect the new government that can rescue South Africa. Help our rescue mission and register to vote Get help registering online now at check.da.org.za. Let's rescue South Africa.